All right, it's always a good time when these guys come to play. From KSL News at noon, we've got Shara Park and Dan Spindle. We pulled Shara, like she's on the go. This mom, <laughs> yeah. she's Sporty Spice today. I was from one story to the next. She's going. They are here to take, take the Warhead Challenge. Okay, you guys, this was inspired by two of our favorite Instagram couples. We've got Sean and Nicole Johnson mm -hmm. and Caleb and Kelsey Fulmer. They each popped a piece of candy but only one of them had the unexpected mouth puckering warhead. And then they challenged their followers to guess who got the warhead. Who do you think it was? I would have guessed upper uh, Kelsey? left. Kelsey? Yeah. I would have said upper right. Because she's doing too much movement, you know. <laughs> she's and trying too right hard. Is, like stoic. She's just, she's oh, in the zone. Turns out it was Sean, bottom right. Sean, his yeah. eyes kind of gave it away. We're going to give this a go. Kind of a fun game you could play over the fourth weekend with your family. Viewers at home, you can take to social media over the next minute or so on Instagram. Cast your vote on which of us is unknowingly going to get the warhead. It's going to be you. People in <laughs> studio are, is it going to be me? It's going to be That's you. That's rude. I have the worst poker face. And well, warhead, <laughs> that powder hits you, and it's uh, it's probably going to fly out of my mouth. I have a good poker face because I'm a mom. Uh, she, she you you yeah. like warhead. You yeah, moms yeah, understand yeah. what I mean when yeah. I say that. People will vote in studio as well, so everything. Okay. Can cast their pick. You kind of played around with this game when you were a teenager, Listen, right? Listen, if you saw us at Oasis Video in 1992, <laughs> I'm oh, not kidding. Buddy. Warheads, and we would like, you know, be dramatic it was about it. Raging waters for it me. It was a lot. Nice yeah. Raging so. waters. Raging waters. Memories. All right, Jeff, bring it in. Don't look in your cup. Okay. Don't look. Don't look in your don't cup. Don't look in the cup. Oh, we're gonna do oh, a countdown. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna grab. do a countdown. Here. Ready? Are we ready? <laughs> okay. Don't look inside. Okay. Only one has the warhead. Here we go. We're gonna hold our ground and hold our camera. Okay. Go to commercial break, come back and reveal. Okay. okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> Holding it is hard. <laughs> mm hmm. The smile. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Who got the warhead? This little game went down a few minutes ago. You've been voting on social media, declaring who got the sour candy, who got the sweet. Was it me, Dan Spindle, or Shara Park? People were voting in studio too, and based on the votes that landed in these jars, people thought it was me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or Shara, a little, you got a couple. Should we reveal? Should we reveal? Will the real warhead warrior stand up? Shara Park! That was a poker face. Well, it didn't help that I was looking at the wrong camera, so I knew that threw people off, too. I'm sorry. Halfway through, you looked a little desperate, it, but... It's about halfway through, all of a sudden, it fizzes on you, and you go, I can't swallow. I don't know what to do. I yeah. can't handle yeah. them. It would have it would have shot right out of my mouth, or I would have gone, Ooh. Uh, I, I would not have been able to This is fun, that. though, to play with families. That would be Wouldn't fun. Wouldn't that be fun yeah. with a group this yes. weekend? That would yeah. be. All right, while well, we've got you guys, sad to say it's nearly halfway through summer. I can't believe that. It's yeah. going so fast. What's been the summer highlight for your family so far, Shana? Uh For us, I think it was just last week, we went to Bear Lake. It was just me and the kids and my sister-in-laws and their kids. So um, moms and a bunch of kids, and we just had a great time at Bear Lake. We hung out on the lake. It was freezing. My favorite moment ever though, Brooke, I bet the kids they couldn't stay in that water for 10 minutes. And if they <laughs> did, I would rent them the water trampoline and they counted down until the very last second. And they made it. They did it. They it had a little freezing. ice bath. And they they had to be it. treated for hypothermia, but they got the trampoline, the water They're alive. trampoline. alive. It toughened them up. And you went as a little girl too, so it's kind of that legacy vacation. Been going vacation. for 40 years. Well, I just revealed my age. Um, oh, this is true. Been going for 40 years, and now the kids are making their memories. It's great. Isn't it's great. fun to mm -hmm. see? All right, you've had some big days at the Spindle House too this summer. Oh, no kidding. Um, yeah, my oldest graduated high school. That's how old how, I am. How does that happen? <laughs> I don't know. I don't uh, look at this. Uh, that's oh, Kyla. Oh, she's beautiful. Uh, thank you. She's uh, um, pride and joy. I mean, perfect. She's just. We say that to all our kids, but she's. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Kyla's just the best. There's the five. That's the great. group of uh, spindles there, and so boy, what a moment. What a uh, kind of a benchmark, and then off she goes. She is uh, doing, you know, college orientation and getting ready for the whole thing. Were, were you change. emotional? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah, very. Did it hit you like in the moment or was yes. there a buildup? Uh, both. <laughs> yeah. I literally had to check in on him that night to find out and if he was okay. And she it was so sweet and it was it was like, like the okay? right timing. Yeah. Yeah. Because honestly, leading up to it and the, the, the graduation ceremony itself, I mean, there were moments where I'm going, 
I mean, my wife is cool under pressure, uh -huh. under all circumstances, uh -huh. and I'm just a blubbering, you, you know, dad. That's so big. That's big like deal. a huge yeah. milestone, yep. and you're young for that. Come on, you're young. So young. You are. Incredibly you are. young. You both, I know, had a shared highlight, the air show last week. Tell yeah. me what that was like that to was cover. Cool. That, that was, was cool. It was cool because we got to see the F-35s. We, I mean, the Thunderbirds were there, the F-18s. Yeah. And we're trying to do a live show as they are buzzing behind us. Well, and look so at us there. Fun. We're smiling there with some members of the Thunderbirds team. But I was just looking around like a kid constantly. And when we saw, I was out there on Sunday as well, helping to kind of anchor the streaming coverage with the Air Force. Uh -huh. And there were hundreds of thousands of people there. So there's a photo. Uh, that's my son Porter, and that's Aspen trying to block the sun. But they were uh, just obsessed. And everyone out there had a blast. The first, I got to say, cool. this is the biggest event in Utah in years because with hundreds of thousands, I mean, yeah. music festivals and things like that, concerts, doesn't get to that level. So what a cool. what an awesome, we incredible time! We actually parked outside, just nearby at a church yeah. parking lot, and it was still a cool. You look show. up. Yeah, it was yep. fantastic. You could see it. I mean, we didn't hear music much where we were anyway, but the the planes, you could see yeah, them everywhere. Jets. Incredible. What, what an event! Jets. Yeah. You guys did a great job. That was fun to it see. It was fun. Here's to the second half of summer. More Bear Lake. More. No everything. more kids growing up. No, no. We're gonna go to Bear Lake too. We're doing a little camping up there next nice. month. So it should, when the water's warmer. Yes. A it'll, be, bit it'll be a nice warm 68 degrees by then. <laughs> oh, cool. All right, impressed with that poker face, Sheriff Park. Thank you. Way <laughs> to go. Tried. Thanks for playing, guys. The Warhead Challenge. You can play it with your family this weekend.